Hi everyone, so I'm back again today and this time I have a what's in my travel makeup bag edition video for you. Um, I do this every time I pretty much travel, although for a few of them I haven't done. Um, but this is one of my next big trips that is international, so I thought I would share it with you since um, a lot of you enjoyed them and I love watching travel videos. So um, I have my makeup bag and this is a Prada makeup bag. Well, it's a Prada bag that I got with Flip Flops about four years ago. If you are a subscriber of mine from back then you will know when I got this um, and I just love using it because it's really really big and um, it's kind of a no fuss sort of bag because I don't care if it gets scratched or dirty inside you know I can easily wash it with some baby wipes and I've got this like little Hello Kitty charm thing on the side so in here I have all my face care, skincare products and all my makeup. I'm going for a five day trip, so I really don't need much, but I did need a few special things because I'm going to a, a nice personal event. <laughs> Let's get into this. So I first have some simple um, cleansing facial wipes. These are my favorite wipes in England. In America, I just love the Target Up and Up brand. They're hands down pretty much the same. You can get simple in Target now too, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, I just love the simple ones and I just get the regular uh, regular kind, not the exfoliant kind or anything. So that's really good for a quick, um, you know, whatever. Oh, and I should say that I have my brushes in here too. So it really is, you know, a short trip and I'm not taking much. Um, so let's go on to the face stuff first. So I'm taking my anti-pore serum by Clarins um, as a, my serum. As my day and night cream, I'm taking this Ageless Intensive um, Deep Moisture SPF 20 Neutrogena um, face cream that I got from TK Maxx, and I really, really like it. I know it has SPF 20, so it doesn't really benefit me at night time, but I just want to take one cream. And then for eye cream, I'm taking a Eye Revive Beauty Flash Balm by Clarins as well. Oops, and that fell. And then, of course, my Creme de la Mer Lip Balm. So those are the only skincare items I'm taking with me. I really don't need anything else. Um, I'm hoping that um, where I stay, I can get like a, or maybe I will decant, make, um, just kind of like a facial wash as well. Oh, I do have something small. I have like one of those samples from Dr. Dennis Gross. So actually I'll use that cleanser. I can put that in, that's not gonna really weigh much. And that can be my facial cleanser because I really don't like to rely on these, um, but these are handy to have on travel. And then for brushes, I am taking one, two, three, four, five, six, I think around six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm taking eight brushes and that seems pretty excessive. I keep dropping things. But I just, as I said, I'm going to an event so I need to make sure that I have like, um, you know, a good choice. So I'm taking my foundation brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 and I'll link down below where you can get the Sigma brushes from. Um, the MAC brush I'm taking is the, I think it's the 109. And then I'm taking the Stippling brush by Real Techniques. Um, another Sigma brush, this is the Precision Flat P80. This is just for my concealer and under eye um, things. Then I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk um, I believe this is like a blending um, brush. It's kind of not domey but shorter and I just love it. This is great for crease work. And then I'm taking just two, one a little bit more fluffy by Gosh. Um, and this MAC 2, I think it's the 220 which is a flatter eyeshadow brush for my eyeshadows. The one that dropped was the Sigma Blending E25 that I got free from a Sigma purchase. It's a little bit more fluffy and I can use it for other things too. So again, I probably wouldn't take this many brushes for just a four to five day trip, but considering that I need um, to do special looks, I need to take a little bit more than I normally do. So that's it for brushes, really simple. And then my eye primer, I'm taking the Mini Dinky NARS Pro Prime Smudge um, Proof Eyeshadow Base. I have, um, I have the just normal one, but this I got, I think I must have done, oh yeah, I got a NARS collection and it came with the mini ones which is perfect for travel. So I have one on hand which I use on a day-to-day -day basis and then I have a backup, that's how much I like it. 
and for eyeshadows I'm taking this cute 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 little palette this is called and God created the woman <laughs> which I love that's such a cool name and it has just really gorgeous eyeshadow colors um, I hope you can see let me just like focus that a little bit better but they are just stunning stunning colors and I'm actually wearing them on my eyes today so I'll come a little bit closer so you can see and this is probably the eye look I'm going to do on that occasion so um, kind of natural with the browns and stuff and a little bit of smoky taupey grays but um, also a little bit glam as well um, for that event and then I'm taking my foundation by Laura Mercier. This is just the Silk Cream Foundation. And I'm in the color Hazelnut Beige. And then I'm taking a YSL blush. This is the number three caramel, which they don't have anymore. But um, I just wanted some glow to my cheeks. And then for bronzer, I would have taken my Chanel bronzer. But that's a little bit more um, bulky. So I'm just using my Terracotta. This is the number three uh, Terracotta Light Sheer Bronzing Powder and it's just beautiful, it's one of my favourite bronzers and I'm using my Gemma Kid Concealer Stick um, this is in Mid to Dark, number 2 and it also has like a highlighting powder there too so it's really nifty to take for travel um, and I think, you know, if I want to add a little bit more sparkle than I can and um, I'm taking the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Dramatic Volume Mascara I'm also using that on my lashes today and I love it never tried a, um, a Max Factor Mascara before actually, isn't that funny? For my eyebrows, I don't have any Brow Wiz anymore by Anastasia right now I'm using this YSL um, which is now called Saint Laurent it's not even YSL anymore which I well, got to get used to, I guess. But it's an eyebrow pencil in number three. And it's a kind of very light brown um, or mid-brown colour. But it's perfect for those of you who have dark eyebrows like myself. And it has a spoolie on the other end. And this actually snapped um, when I travelled from America back to England. So I've got it wrapped with some sellotape. Um, and then for my under eye, I'm using the Armani Master Corrector number two. And then I'm using a... As the under eye concealer, I'm using this Estee Lauder Ideal Light Brush on Illuminator pen. Um, and so this is mostly illuminating rather than concealing. So I could use a bit of the Gemma Kid with a brush and put that if I need to conceal and then illuminate with the Estee Lauder. But I also have this illuminating highlighting pen which is by Tom Ford. And this is in the shade number one Citrine. And the Estee Lauder one is in number one light. And together, two illuminating pens, I know, but together they really brighten up my face. And I have um, just very little of it on today, um, but it makes such a difference. And then for one lip liner, I'm using this by Sleep, which I absolutely love. This is called Sand Dune 325. And um, the only thing I can't figure out is how to sharpen it because I assumed it was just like a twist up one because it has that sort of plastic part here but there's nothing to twist and nothing to take off so if any of you know how to um, work these sleek lip liners please let me know before I leave for holiday because I really I'm really confused I mean it shouldn't be that hard should it um, and then one lipstick can you believe it but I'm really trying to cut down um, you know, and not take unnecessary stuff with me. So I already have like my macaroon um, lip butter, so that counts as a kind of a lipstick too. But I thought I would bring my Rouge Coco by Chanel number no. 16 Tafto Rose, and I have this dabbed on slightly on my lips today. But it's a really, really gorgeous sort of rosy pink color, but bright enough for the springtime and bright enough for a nice event. And not to forget, I have a mini. Um, Anastasia Anastasia matte highlighter in Camille and this is just to highlight underneath my brows so that is all I'm taking with me for the four to five day trip um, I don't think I did too bad what do you guys think is that like a lot or I don't know I mean it's kind of like a cheat because this is such a dinky palette and yet I have six colors to choose from which is awesome but you can just take a quad with you or something like that but I really like to use mini sizes and um, it's the best time to try out your sample mascaras but I would always bring out one mascara that you hands down know works well for you 
and then everything else I just try and like downsize for traveling it just makes it a lot lighter a lot easier and the fact that I can put my brushes in here and my face products is perfect and I wanted to mention that I got these brush guards and I'll leave a link down below from where you can get them from and they are fantastic I've had these for years now I never mentioned them in a video for what reason I don't know because this again is a must-have so look out for that video but um, if you want to purchase it before my review let me just tell you right now it is a must it's hands down amazing for drying your brushes reshaping them and for travel if you don't want to take a travel brush case um, these are fantastic hope that was okay yeah so I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.